Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Val. This is another episode of Beautifully Shattered Val. I need to throw on some bronzer. I've already got the rest of my face on. I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love the smell of this. As soon as you open the package, it's just smells so good. It smells tropical. Using a duo, yeah, I'm using a duo fiber brush. And just kind of carving out those cheekbones a little bit, adding a little bit of color back to my face. My skin is so dry. It's terrible. It's so cold here. And I'm just one hot mess today. For blush, I'm going to go in with my Unique Moodstruck Minerals. This blush it is in the shade Serene. I'm just going to smile and put that on my cheeks. And when I have less product on the brush, I pull it back kind of along my bronzer. The palette I'm going to be using today is this one right here. I have tried to film this video so many times and I, for whatever reason, was not in the right mode for filming. I was in time lapse or something else and it just didn't work out. So this will be my third attempt at filming this. This better turn out. The shades in here. These are my go-to shades. These are what I would use every single day if I could. I absolutely love the colors in here. I'm going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base. So I got my eyes primed. I'm praying that this video will work out this time. I'm going to begin with the bronzer in this palette. That is this one right here and down at the bottom. That shade is called Sweet Tea. I haven't actually tried it as a bronzer yet. And I'm going to come in, we're going to throw that in the crease, today's Saturday, I don't have anything going on. But I did want to play with makeup, so that's what I'm going to do. I just kind of had an urge to try and film this palette one more time. I'm going to go ahead and take my... What is this brush? This is one of the Luxie brushes that I got in my BoxyCharm. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Man Cat. I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to run that right in the crease itself, like right deep in there.
once I kind of have that how I want it, I'm going to go in with my angled shadow brush. And we're going to go into the shade Uncommon, which is this one right here. It's right next to Man Cat. And I'm going to deepen up this outer corner and pull that into the crease as well. Then I'm going to take a blending brush. This one happens to be by e.l.f. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit and soften up those edges. Just working that further into the crease. I want there to be a nice gradient going on. I'm going to take the shade Uncommon and I'm going to run that underneath my lower lash line. I kind of want this video to go up on Thursday for a throwback Thursday video. I know you can't get this palette anymore. I had to hunt it down and buy it on eBay. Somebody had it. It was still wrapped in plastic, never been used brand new so I know it's I know it's tough to get your hands on it but I was determined so I, when I, I was able to get it I was so thrilled that I was able to get it I think I'm going to take the shade dog man this one right here is um, like a burnt orange and I'm going to run that underneath really tight to my lashes. Like almost in the waterline, but not quite. Now for the lid shade, I'm going to take the blush in this palette. That blush is called Does This Thing Really Work? It's this one right here. It has, I don't know if you're able to pick that up on the camera or not, but it has like an overspray of glitter on there. But when you dig in there a little bit, the sparkle is gone. It's not there anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on the lid. such a pretty color I'd be too afraid to use this for a blush I think that it would get out of hand really fast and I would totally destroy my look if I tried that so I'm just gonna use it for eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and take the JH 39 this is what it looks like. It's a little bit more of a pencil 
like a duo fiber print pencil brush type thing. I'm gonna go into, I think I wanna go into Gator Wings, the highlight in this palette. That also has a shimmer over spray, but when you get down in there, there isn't any shimmer in there. What in the world happened there? We will clean that up later. So I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. I'm also going to use it on my brow bone. I'm going to go back into the shade Sweet Tea with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to bring a little bit of that back. Just blending that out a little bit. This happens to be a Morphe brush and it does not have a number on it. It's just a gold Morphe brush that I have. I kind of want to take the shade Haunting right here and use that on the inner corner. It has a little bit of a lavender undertone. The Gator Wings didn't really do anything for me. So when I look straight on, you can kind of see there's a little bit of color going on in there. I'm going to go ahead and take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. I'm going to run that in my waterline. I'm also going to take the Tarte Man Eater Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to throw this in my upper lash line area. I'm going to throw on some NARS Climax Mascara, and then I'll be right back. We went ahead and got the liner on, the mascara, and we set our face using the MAC Fix Plus Coconut Scented one. For lips, I'm going in with this right here this is a covergirl infallible and this is part of their chocolate collection this one is in the shade candy man and oh it smells so good it straight up smells like chocolate The applicator on this makes it so easy to apply this. I like everything about this when you first apply it. I don't like when it dries down, it dries down super matte and it almost sucks the life out of my lips. I wind up going in with a clear gloss over the top of it once it does fully dry down. That's the only way that I can wear it, but I love the color of it. So this is it. This is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next video.